You know, we're born in water. You know, we come from a mother's womb. We're made of salt water. Seven tenths of the earth is water. So there's all that kind of thing for sure. There's a kind of when you're diving and feeling good underwater, there's a feeling of coming home. Up until the 1960s, doctors said that free divers would kill themselves if they went deeper than 50 meters. But now they know that you can go a lot deeper than that. And that's because instead of their lungs just collapsing in on themselves, the alveoli, when they compress very small, the capillaries around them swell with blood to relieve the pressure. And that whole process, when you're relaxed and comfortable and trained and everything like that, is it's quite an interesting and quite, quite beautiful, quite meditative. Mother Nature just doesn't throw these things out. Like, so if a body can be reasonably well trained to dive to like 50, 60 meters in a relatively short time, there's, there's the implication that we must be designed for it. There's a theory, the aquatic ape, the reason we don't have body hair and things like that is because we, at some point, lived mostly in the water. Kind of like it's our aquatic heritage. There's lots of big and smaller stresses in life. There's traffic, there's the argument with the wife, your kids, the mortgage, their bigger stresses. They're all triggering a response to threat. In your mind, when you're holding your breath and you're under the water, that is a bit of a stressor in the sense that you can't breathe. So that's pretty important survival mechanism you're tampering with. So if you, yeah, if you train yourself to be comfortable with that, well then minor stresses, they're a lot easier to handle. 